Hi, I'm Buddy Cook. And today I want to talk about this. This is the U.S. Army's M1892 field trumpet in the key of G. Uh, that's the nomenclature from the Quartermaster Corps that this is a field trumpet, not a bugle. Uh, it is a cylindrical bore all the way through until right before the bell flare, making it a field trumpet. Um, bugle would be a conical bore, and the Quartermaster had a bugle in B-flat at the time that was that kind of design. Um, so this one was actually made in Czechoslovakia. Uh, some pretty sturdy brass on this. Um, other than that, it's just a standard kind of horn. Um, the Quartermaster spec on this is that it's in the key of G with a tuning slide that can take it all the way out to the key of F. And there's actually a little mark on here. Uh, if you get one that follows the reg that shows you there's a little line that says that's where to put it to be in the key of F. Um, and I think that that's so that you could play along with bands at the time. Uh, just give you another key option that would work together together with them a little better than G. Um, so there's not much else to really say about the horn itself. Uh, everyone, this is their kind of normal idea of what a bugle is, at least in, in the Americas. Um, probably because after World War I, uh, this was the instrument still in use at the time, and a lot of civic organizations picked these up. The beginnings of Drum and Bugle Corps in America started on this. The Boy Scouts of America adopted this design as for their bugle, and you can actually find versions that have the Boy Scout logo, and then it was an official supply department item from them. Um, a company named Rexcraft uh, made these uh, for a while, and they're still in business. They're now made under the, the title of U.S. Regulation Bugle. A new one will run you about $150, $160. Uh, but so... Since 1892, when the Quartermaster put out the design, these are still in production today. Um, and this is pretty much the same design, too. They got picked up by Canstool. Uh, Getzen makes one, um, although their design's a little different. They, they really made a B-flat version, and then going to G is kind of an add-on. Um, but, uh, yeah, so it's kind of a standard bugle. Now, on a bugle like this, we only get the harmonic series. Um, so a lot of the, the literature talk about there's really only six notes that they kind of play on this from oh, covering two octaves from C up to C. Now besides just the signal calls to instruct troops what to do, uh, the Army also had a series of just marches that you can play on this, tunes, music to keep morale up, things like that for parades, ceremonies, uh, just to keep the troops in step. Um, personally, I find that kind of music a lot of fun. It's a little bit harder to find, uh, but it's out there. And I've got my copy of the U.S. Army's Infantry Drill Regulations from 1904, because in the back of here, it has the music for all of the bugle calls that the infantry used at the time, and a couple quick steps. And this is before the quick step dance was invented, so they're talking about marches, march music. Uh, <laughs> 